back more Angel. This is episode 19 of season 1 and I'm hyped. I can't wait to see what's going to happen next. Because um, I'm assuming they are just going to have kind of a continuation of um, the events of the previous episode which was awesome. Um, easily one of, if not the best episode of Angel I've seen so far. Um, having Faith come to LA was awesome and everything they kind of did with her was just fantastic. Um, you know, the torture scenes as well as um, when she like tortured Wesley. Oh, man. Um, really hard to watch and quite brutal, as was the fight with Angel near the end. But then, oh, just that turn when she just breaks down. Um, man, I am very, very excited to see where they're going to go with this and what's going to happen next. Um, yeah, so if this episode opens with like, Oh, how's Faith doing? Oh, it's okay. She's, like, staying somewhere else. She's gone to travel and find herself or something. And then they fight, like, I don't know, a giant scorpion demon thing for an episode instead. I will be angry. So I'm hoping um, they are going to carry on with the Faith thing. Um, Because I'd like her to stick around for quite a while, because she really does suit the kind of vibe of Angel, um, I think, particularly when she's, like, this broken. Um, Because, you know, season four of Buffy was quite light-hearted and fun, for the most part. I mean, I know we had the whole thing with Oz. Um, but, you know, there's some really funny episodes, and I think it's the funniest season of Buffy so far. Um, and then suddenly Faith came along and shit got real. Um, and that kind of changed the vibe of the season for a brief period. Um, but Angel, I feel like it's kind of been consistently that kind of feeling. Um, so Faith just slotted in so easily. So I'm, I'm glad they're kind of exploring her character on Angel. Um, I think it's interesting to see the comparisons between... Faith on Buffy and Faith on Angel, so I'm hoping we're going to get a lot more of that. Uh, and yeah, I'm just very, very excited to see what's going to happen next. So let's get into it. Oh my god. She looks so much younger already. She actually looks like the age she is now, not the age of the Slayer kind of makes her look. That'd be close. Mm-hmm. Wesley just rushes in and stabs her. Angel. Yeah. Oh! No, that's a vision. You've done this before. So obviously it's not like she's just bad. Like she's just fixed, just like that. So it makes sense that she still have those kind of visions that she's fighting now. Oh my god, look at them both. Shit. Not your fault. Oh. He's trying to get the elbow. That's true. We're not in the business of giving up on people. Don't you dare take the moral high ground with me after what she did. Oh, shit. I believe in helping people. I do not believe in coddling murderers. It wasn't too long ago that you were the one making the case for her rehabilitation. It wasn't too long ago. I had full feeling in my right arm. Exactly, yeah. I mean, I can't blame him in the slightest for the way he's feeling. Paid okay, vacation. Like I'm going to stick around here while Psycho Case is roaming oh. loose downstairs? I mean, I completely get it. But I also understand Angel's desperation for people to be redeemed. So if he sees other people being redeemed and he helps them do that, he can believe that he can do it himself. Everybody knows you've gone all scully. Anytime one of these weird cases crosses anyone's desk, you're always there. What's going on with you? Scully's the skeptic. Huh? Oh, yeah. the believer. Scully's the skeptic. <laughs> That's true, yeah. Oh, I already believe. That's the problem. Yeah, she knows all too well. Should be resting. I'm gonna sleep for eight months. You rest. How are we gonna fix it? You don't. You give up. Or should we kill her? Oh. I'd forgotten about that guy. Wait, no! Oh shit. Oh, you Alan. I don't care. Oh no. Yeah, it's just easier to fall back on old habits, isn't it? Help me. Yeah. Oh. Whoa, why did that get me so emotional? Fuck. She sounded so helpless. Meanwhile. I bet he's picturing that's Faith's head. Oh, 
wrestling. Oh, these fuckers. And that was a nasty business back in Sunnydale, but nobody blames you. Really? Because I rather got the impression they did when they sacked me. Eh. <laughs> so, how does this work? There's no real simple answer for that. No matter how many good deeds you do to try to make up for the past, you may never balance out the cosmic scale. Hmm. The only thing I can promise you is that you'll probably be haunted. And maybe for the rest of your life. So, how does this work? Oh. Uh. <laughs> Power level time start. Sure that popcorn's gonna be enough for you? Yeah. I can live off the stuff. Same. Tell Cordelia I'll pay her back. How do you say, gee, really sorry that I tortured you nearly to death? Well, first off, I think I'd leave off the G. And secondly, I think you have to ask yourself, are you? What? Sorry. Sorry. Feel it. Deal with it. And maybe you got a shot at being free. <laughs> I gotta be the first one to be sponsored by a vampire. Yeah. How am I ever gonna make things right with her? Faith, this isn't about Buffy. All my life, there was only one person who tried to be my friend. Went out of their way when I had no right or reason to expect Aww. her to, and I screwed her. Not to mention her boyfriend. I was gonna say, yeah, you screwed her boyfriend. Literally. Faith, you and I never. Actually. No, not you, the new one. Oh! Oh, I didn't even think that he, he doesn't know about Riley. I'm so sorry. I... No, there. You can't say it. Oh, that's true. Yay. That's good. When's that popcorn ready? I apologize if I. Oh. Right. No harm must come to the vampire. Oh, don't be a pawn. That's it. Unless you agree to that, you won't get any help from me. I got confronted more evil, slain more de... Slain more demons, in short, done more good while working with an angel than I ever did while I was in the council's employ. Yeah, bitches. Oh my god. Los Angeles police, in conjunction with federal authorities... Oh no. Tonight. We knew about this. Nothing's changed, all right? Nothing's. Anyone with any information regarding the whereabouts of this suspect should get in touch with law enforcement. Uh, mm. Do not approach her. Yes. Oh, man. That's the bloody can spill. Just don't get it on his nice jacket. Hugging. Oh no. Shit. I got so excited I wrote the fucking note on the wrong page. I feel like once upon a time. So you decided to punish her with a severe cuddling. Oh boy. Come on. Um, you apologize to me, I will beat you to death. Fuck. This is not gonna happen. Yeah, that's kinda what she'd want. Because you're gonna have to. Don't you move Oh! Oh! I mean, you did hit him, but shit. Oh no. Faith. You hit me. Not to go all schoolyard on you, but you hit me first. That was just a cry. I think. A cry for help. You know, she's very much blinded by voice. the events of the two partner in Buffy. Can't but at the same time, can't you can't just forget the events of that two partner. Like she was raped. Of course you do. In about 20 minutes, the council's operations team is coming in here. They'll expect to find you gone and her drugged. How many? Three. Hello, Buffy. I'm afraid you come at a bad time. Oh, wow. I'm feeling that. Why'd you bring them here? Couldn't shake them. Had to pretend I was helping them. Wesley. I know these guys. They're killers. What a stand-up guy. I despise you. You and everything you represent. And when I say representing thing, I do mean your clients. I was going to say, I thought you were talking to him. The woman you're looking for? She's with him. 
Well, this is all going to go swimmingly well, I can imagine. Until you got bored with the whole guilt thing? Decided to come back and shake things up? That's not going to happen. You're right. I hope not. It's not. Oh, Angel said there was no way you were going to give me a chance. I gave you every chance. Anything that you could take from me, you took. I've lost battles before. But nobody else has ever made me a victim. You have no idea what it's like on the other side. I mean, nothing's in control. Nothing makes sense. There's just pain and hate and nothing you do true. means anything. You can't even... Shut up! Just tell me how to make it better. Oh, dear. Oh, shit. That's coming from the roof. Well done. Oh, I'm on everyone's side. Nothing like some gunfire to bring two slayers together. I suppose Buffy's not the biggest fan of the council with herself, is she? So. Get to the roof, help them. What? Now! Bastard! Wesley, God! He's stepping the fuck up! Oh! Oh! <laughs> You're an arsehole. <laughs> oh, that was good. 180! That was rude, yeah, I agree. Oh my god. Am I watching Angel? Oh god. Oh, but I liked it when they were friends. I think you're gonna like the cell we have for you, Angel. Faces east give you a great view of the sunrise in about four hours. What? Alright. Oh. Why did she turn herself in? Do you have any idea what it was like for me to see you with her? Come on. That you would it's bigger than that. Buffy, this wasn't about you. This was about saving somebody's soul. I came here because you were in danger. I'm in danger every day. You came because of faith. You were looking for vengeance. I have a right to it. Not in my city. I have someone in my life now. That I love. It's not oh. what you and I had. It's very new. You know what makes it new? I trust him. I know him. I mean, all right. I mean, <laughs> that's great. It's a bit unnecessary. It's nice. You don't know me anymore, so don't come down here with your great new life and expect me to do things your way. Go home. Shit. I mean, he has a point. But I also know, you know, how wrong she was by faith. But I think that has somewhat blinded her. But you were just saying that you have someone new, so it doesn't matter. Can't believe I'm saying this, but I think I preferred the way they parted last time. I think you did the right thing. Yelling at Buffy? No, no. The other thing. I didn't do it. Faith did. It's her choice. She's strong enough to make it. Peace is not an easy thing to find. Mm, I hope she finds it. She seems quite peaceful with it. I think she's recognising herself and that's the first step. Man, I did not want that to end. That was a fantastic episode. Again, I loved it. Um, I don't know if that's like the conclusion of the whole Faith thing for now. Um, it's definitely very open-ended for her to return. Um, for all I know, maybe the next episode's about her in prison and stuff like that. I don't, I don't really know. Um, it kind of felt like more of a conclusion. Um, but she's not dead, so hopefully we'll see Faith again very, very soon. Um, be it on Buffy or Angel, you know, I'd like her to show up. Doesn't matter what show, as long as she, like, actually turns up um, and we see her again. Um, man! Like, this two-parter, or I assume it's a two-parter, and the one on Buffy, man. I kind of wish, like, every, like, season of the show, they do, like, a multi-part story with Faith involved. That would be a really cool kind of tradition to continue on with. Um, I don't know if that happens or 
you know, for a while now we never see Faith again. If that's the case, I'd be very, very sad. Um, but man, amazing, amazing episode. I've loved what they've done with Faith um, in Buffy and when they brought her here. It's like kind of these four episodes, really. Um, they did some incredible stuff. And Eliza Dushku was phenomenal um, in this kind of entire arc, um, which is kind of why I hope we get to see a lot more of it, because I'd love to see um, Faith's journey um, to finding, hopefully, finding redemption. Um, where to begin? Um, I'll start with Cordelia, actually, because she didn't have a lot to do. She kind of disappeared after the opening kind of scenes, really. Um, but I can understand why she'd want some time off after the whole Faith incident. I don't blame her at all. I would have liked to have seen her, like, I mean, interact with Buffy again. That would have been really nice to see. Um, unfortunately, that we didn't get that. And I would have liked to have seen her reaction to Faith's actions at the end as well and see the fallout of that from her point of view. But hopefully we can, she can mention that in the next episode or something, I don't know. Um, but I did uh, understand where she was coming from, why she wanted a bit of time off and stuff like that. Because um, she's definitely the kind of person who would kind of want to get away from that kind of thing. Whereas I think Wesley would be very much kind of like a workaholic. He just want to throw himself back into his work and try his best to kind of forget. Um, so yeah, I could completely kind of see her attitude to things and why she didn't want to be in the same building as Faith. No, you can understand it. Um, I think everyone had their own kind of point in this episode and I don't think anyone was necessarily wrong um, in the whole episode. It's just, I think there's a lot of people like not understanding things or being a bit misguided and stuff like that or being blinded by emotions, which is, you know, a very real and human thing. So I can't really hold that against any of the characters. Um, cause I do think Buffy was kind of maybe a little bit blinded by just a want for revenge and a hatred of faith um, and didn't want to see that maybe she wanted, you know, that Faith wanted to find redemption. Um, because of all the effort she kind of made in amends in season three of Buffy with Angel, just trying to save his life and tell him that he can be redeemed. Um, it's kind of sad that she didn't see that in Faith as well, but while that is, you know, sad, I can completely understand why she wouldn't want to see that, because Faith did some, quite frankly, horrible, unforgivable stuff um, to Buffy and to Riley and to the whole kind of gang in Buffy um, season four not long ago. Um, but yeah, she did kind of rock up, didn't quite understand the situation, I think. Um, exactly what was going on and kind of tried to hold them all high ground and I do really enjoy that Angel put her in her place actually um, and I'm not saying you know she was entirely wrong she definitely had some points and um, what she was saying about you know being made a victim I completely agree with that um, but yeah she can't just kind of rock up and act like it's her show <laughs> if that makes sense um, so I can completely understand why she'd be angry and why she did everything that she did. Um, apart from hitting Angel, I think that was a bit, you know, a bit too much. Um, and like twisting the knife at the end when she like mentioned that, you know, I have a new boyfriend and I love him and I trust him, which I never trusted you. Um, that seemed unnecessarily mean and not really relevant to the main dilemma that they were kind of trying to deal with in the episode, which is kind of why I think she was more blinded by... Um, emotions than actually try to understand or was willing to understand what was actually happening um so yeah that was that didn't quite sit right with me but i can still kind of see a bit of that point of view um so yeah i can understand why Cordelia did what she did i can understand why buffy did what she did for the most part apart from the kind of malicious things with riley i don't think that was really necessary um but again, you know, everyone's been wronged in that kind of way. Um, and then Wesley. Fuck. Like, Wesley is really stepping up. Um, since around... What episode was it? Um, one, two, three... Was the episode with the Demon Kid? Was that episode 14? I've got you under my skin, I think it was called. 
Um, ever since around then, I think Wesley's been really stepping up. Um, you know, torturing people to get information. We got a lot of backstory in that episode originally about about him, like his father and stuff. And you know, he's not quite so hapless as he was when he was first reintroduced into the show. Um, and he was literally tortured near to the point of death. And yet he still maintained his belief and loyalty to Angel and is doing kind of act out against faith in a way that Buffy was doing. Um, and again, I'm not trying... I feel like the way I'm wording it makes it sound like I'm attacking Buffy and saying she was completely wrong, which isn't the case. Um, but I don't really know how else to phrase it and I hope you can, you can understand my meaning behind all of that. Um, but Wesley, I'm really impressed with how he handled things. Um, of course he was pissed off and he was like, at first, you know, you shouldn't be harbouring her here and you shouldn't be treating her with kindness and stuff because um, she's just, she just been fucking tortured by her um, but very quickly kind of adapted to that um, I think maybe he wouldn't change his mind if the council hadn't turned up and he kind of saw you know this other kind of way of dealing with things he's like actually I think Angel kind of has a point here because the council aren't going to deal with Faith and they're certainly not going to deal with her in a way that I agree with so maybe Angel will um, I just need to put my trust in him because, you know, Wesley was very much lost and a lost soul wandering about. And then Angel gave him a job and a bit of a purpose in life. And I think he kind of, he could understand that Angel was trying to do that for Faith as well. Um, and it, since he was successful in finding a place for Wesley, maybe he'd help Faith too. Um, and I think that's kind of why he understood in the end and um, played along with the Watchers Council. Um, and then told Angel the truth and tried to almost protect Faith, which I think is such a noble thing and a very brave thing to do. Um, he was certainly kind of the bigger man in the situation, if you will. Um, so I was very, very impressed with his attitude to things and how he dealt with, you know, a very traumatic experience he must have gone through. Um, I did figure he'd kind of be somewhat forgiving. Um, because at the end of the last episode where he dropped the knife, if he was just like adamant that she needed to be killed or whatever, um, straight after that, the whole thing of him dropping the knife and the meaning behind that would have been completely pointless because it would have just directly gone against it. Um, so I'm glad they didn't just completely contradict that. Um, but yeah, Wesley was fantastic in this episode. I loved everything about it, him playing along with the council and everything like that was great. I love that the Watchers Council were involved in this. They were kind of almost like the villain at the end of the episode, which was cool. Um... And getting to see Buffy interact with the Watchers Council again was quite fun. Um, and obviously Wesley as well. Um, and getting the same actors from the two part with Faith from Buffy. Um, bringing them over. I, I just like that continuity. It always makes me giddy. Um, I love when they do little crossovers like that. I think it's really, really cool. So, yeah, I did really enjoy the inclusion of the Watchers Council, the role they had to play in things and how they kind of got thwarted. I thought that was really, really cool. Um, and Wesley tricking them was just everything. I love that. And Wesley was just so good in this episode. Um, and then the Wolfram and Hart lawyer thing. Evil lawyers, not the best at their jobs, um, but they are trying to kind of, you know, they've realised that they just need to play it by their rules and be angel at their own game is kind of their plan now, which makes a lot of sense and probably what they should have stuck to in the beginning. Um, so we'll see where they go with that. Obviously they kind of revealed face location to Kate and everything. Um, so I think the battle is kind of truly the beginning between Angel and um, Wolfram and Hart now. So I'm looking forward to seeing where they go with that. And it was nice checking in with those lawyers again, seeing um, the direct fallout to Faith's actions in the last episode with them. So that's cool. Very excited to see what they do with them going forward um, as we head towards the end of the season. Um, I liked Kate showing back up. I don't think we've seen her um, since the episode her father was killed in. I don't think we have. I don't think we've seen her since the prodigal. Um, so obviously she's still very much in mourning for her dad and stuff like that and I think she's kind of turned against Angel quite a bit um, which is very sad because they seem to be quite close near the start of the show and I really, really liked their friendship um, but you know I can kind of see why she's not a big fan of like supernatural things um, so her being like another thorn in Angel's side is kind of frustrating um, given how close they used to be or how close they were getting um, but again it makes for kind of a Good story I suppose so we'll see what happens but I'm hoping that Angel and Kate can kind of patch things up eventually um, but for now I can kind of see why Kate is you know kind of against the whole thing because she's just lost her dad you know she's lost like the only family she had left and 
even though they weren't particularly close um, ever since her mother died and he kind of pushed her away and stuff you know it's never going to be easy I think to lose a parent like that uh, so yeah uh, I can kind of see where she's coming from but again it's just kind of sad that things have gone down this way um, and yeah, the idea of loyalty throughout the episode, Angel's loyalty to Faith, I thought was great. I love the dynamic between those two throughout the whole episode. Um, they had some really kind of sad moments and some really funny moments as well, like the whole thing with the, um, so how does this work? And it was like, she's actually talking about the microwave, but Angel gave us a long and deep speech. I thought that was really funny. Um, also, Wesley's 189 killed me. That was so, so good. Um, but yeah, Angel was kind of loyal to his faith and to his cause, to his faith, to Faith and his cause. Um, Wesley found that loyalty to Angel and he kind of believed in that even if he didn't believe in exactly what Angel was doing he believed in Angel himself which I really really love um, and yeah Angel believes in what he's kind of doing now and what he believes is right and I like that he kind of talked down Buffy in that sense and she's like he was like you know you don't know me anymore you don't know what I'm trying to do here you don't really understand it because you've just turned up um, you're not here for me you're here because Faith's here um, which is very true but I think Buffy was truly kind of believing that that was why she was there, or at least trying to justify it in her head. Um, it's again, blinded by emotion and stuff, but um, you can understand it because it's a very real and human thing. I think all of us get blinded by our emotions, so I'm not holding that against anyone at all. Um, so yeah. A big thing obviously was the whole thing with Faith, and I think Eliza was great again. I love that you know, she seemed genuinely kind of sorry for a lot of the things she's done. When she realised about, you know, you kind of hit her that she's wronged Buffy and everything. So I was like, oh my god, how am I going to make it right? I love that she wants to make it right and she tried to apologise and stuff. But then Buffy was like, I will kill you if you apologise. I was like, oh, <laughs> that's not the best first step. Um, and yeah, just seeing Faith kind of struggle throughout the whole episode. Um, going back and forth on whether or not she really needs to c commit and whether or not she wants to. Because she's found it so easy in the past to just be the bad guy um, and just run away from her problems and run away from things. But to see that be tackled head on now and her to make the decision herself to turn herself in and it's a huge first step and I've loved seeing that development and um, just seeing everything Faith has gone through as a character um, particularly in like, the four episodes that she's been in in the Buffyverse lately. Um, I think it's just been so brilliantly written and so brilliantly performed as well and they've done a great job with Faith's arc in that kind of those four episodes and I've just absolutely adored all those episodes and I really am hoping we see Faith again I've loved her journey in this um, I'd love to see more of it and I love that she turned herself in I actually think it was a very brave thing to do and for someone who's so used to like running away from things um, the fact that she chose for herself to be put in jail um, and be locked up in like one of the one places you can't run or escape from um, I think tells a lot about how willing she is to change and how much she wants to change um, so I just love her whole character arc so far um, she's definitely one of the most fascinating characters in the Buffyverse for me so far um, I absolutely love her uh, and how kind of complex and complicated she is um, so I'm hoping we see her again very very soon um, I'd love to just join the team but that's probably not going to happen. But either way, um, I've loved what they've done with her character um, in Buffy and on the Angel as well. These past two episodes have just been phenomenal. Um, yeah, fantastic episode from start to finish. I absolutely adored it. Um, yeah, I can't wait to see what's going to happen next as we head towards like to the last three. Yeah, we have three left of the season now. That's exciting. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing what's going to happen with that and where they're going to go um, with the story now. Um, Man, I love that both Buffy and Angel as shows have both kind of had a faith multi-part story near the end of the season and now they kind of can deal with the fallout of that. It's really like changed things up um, as you head into the last kind of bit of the season. I really, really enjoy that. Um, so yeah, fantastic episode. I absolutely adored it and I can't wait to see what's going to happen next. Um, and yeah, my next two Buffy vs. reactions are obviously going to be Buffy... Um, episode 20 and 21 um, and then are we back to Angel after that? I don't know but I'll let you know at the end of the cycle we still have another two both first reactions to come yet but yeah love this episode can't wait for more and until my next reaction thanks for watching